Oh, God. Hello? Hello? Is there... Uh. Am I live? Oh, my God. I'm back. Okay. Hello. Welcome back, everybody. Um, that's a very unfortunate thing to happen in the middle of the, you know, climactic, like, <laughs> ending sequence. I'm live? Okay, cool. Well, hooray! Uh, I have no guarantee that... You are the most beautiful woman in the galaxy. <laughs> Yo, big sis Kit Kat, what's up? Well, thanks for the follow. I have no guarantee that uh, this will stay live uh, or that my internet will stay running. My internet went out, but <laughs> I guess I have nothing to do but to just keep playing. I'm pretty sure we were literally like 15 minutes from ending the game, so... I'm, I mean, I don't know. I'm going to, I'm just going to try to get through it. Rip VOD. Nobody watches the VOD anyway. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Let's try to get, let's, let's try to get this working. Let's try to finish the game before the internet goes out again. How about that's the goal? Pokemane, true. Pokemane watches the VOD. Nobody else does though. Okay. We killed the sniper. We got to help Charles. <laughs> hey, you're okay. You're okay. I will be. I don't think he will be. I'm pretty sure Charles is dead. Especially if I shoot him right here. But I won't do that. That's rude. Look him down the hill and kill us all. It's true. Come on, John. I'm coming. Leave him. Hey, they know we're coming now. I will be fine. I'll follow you up. I just. He is so dead. There is no way Charles is coming out of this alive. Honestly, I don't think Abigail's coming out of it alive either. Or sorry, Sadie. I wouldn't be surprised if John's the only one to survive this entire sequence. Oh. Here they come. Where? Oh. Okay, the cover is kind of... Her hat... <laughs> Sadie's hat flew off right into my field of view. They'll be fine. You think so? You think these characters are going to be okay? Sure. Okay. On the cliff. Oh, she got him. This game's got a happy ending. Something, well, I know John lives. So at least John has to live. Can you use cover, please? 10, 20, I'm pretty sure I killed 10 slash 20 guys. What are you talking about? You'll be fine too, true. I know flammable doesn't die at the end of this game, so we got that going for us. Yeah. I do like how she says Micah runs with 10, 20 guys. We literally just killed a dozen guys. Like, I think we're set. The volume of enemies that you mow through for the action pieces in this game are pretty silly. Who the hell? Who's that? More men! Oh. Shoot! Someone behind us. Look out where? What's wrong with her? More men, dot, dot, dot. D oh! Does the thought of more men excite you somewhat, Flammable? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh! There she goes. Oh! Charles managed to crawl up. Okay, well, they got rid of them pretty quickly. She is not all right. She is not remotely all right. You're bleeding pretty bad. Hey, nothing. You should sit down. I'm fine. You're dying. I'll be fine. Just sit. It's okay. I ain't dying. I ain't. I ain't dying. I hope not. John is such a terrible way with words. Need to rest. Okay. 
Charles, stay with him. Yeah, he's gonna die too. They're both fucking dead, John. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. I thought we're. I thought we we're talking. We are not talking. Okay. I thought I was talking with those people. I was wrong. That was Joe. We killed Joe. Oh, I died. <laughs> I, huh. Thought we were talking. This is why I never survive out west. The way the 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 frame the shot was framed, it made me think that I was like talking it out with those people. You know what I mean? Look who it is. Okay. Okay. Wait. Get pull your gun out. Pull your gun out. Pull your. Okay. There. We nope. Okay. Now aim. No. Nope. Okay. I got something to take care of. Sure. Just you left, is it? Yeah. Just me. Okay. Are you gonna... Why Why can I not... Okay. I guess the game forced him to make the first move before I was allowed to fire at him. That was kind of weird. It wasn't letting me aim at him. That was Joe! Okay. You are riding with a turncoat, honestly, it's so true. Oh my god. You, th you think this game has cowboys in it? Oh, there is a chance. There's a chance there might be a cowboy or two in the vicinity. Oh my god. Stop, 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 stop! Stop! Oh my god. No! That's not right. Aim! Okay. I'm dying. <laughs> Do I have anything that can, you know, restore my health or. Okay, I'll eat some corned beef. How about that? I'm eating a shit ton of corned beef. That'll see me through this situation. It's John Marston. Here's Johnny. Oh my god. Please, no. There's like no. I'm just fucking dead. There's like no cover anywhere. <laughs> and I don't have like any health tonics or anything. You know that reference? I don't think you do, Flammable. If you know that reference, then name it. Tell me what the reference is. What? Oh my god. Dude, I should probably save my dead eye. Is the proper thing to do here. It's from the movie? What movie? Name the movie, Flammable. It's the only way I will accept that you know what the reference is, is if you tell me what the movie is. What? Who's shooting at me? Who? What? Didn't I just kill you? Didn't I kill that guy? I'm dead. Dude. Okay, I have to eat my beef. Stop shooting me! Especially after I've already shot you. Also, stop walking out of cover, please. Don't worry, I'm working on my kidney beans. There we go. Star Trek Revenge of the Sith? Not this time, Carolyn. This time it's not a Star Trek reference. Believe it or not. Where is he? Okay. Okay. What? Where? Where? Okay, I have no idea where that guy came from. What? What? My... God damn it. Give me my gun back. <laughs> Give me my gun back. Give me my gun back. No. Give me my gun back. Give me my gun back. Ah, there we go. I need a regen. 
He died in one kick. He did die in one kick. He was kind of pathetic. I think I think the idea is it's someone who I shot earlier and came back to kill me or something like that. At least that's kind of what I thought was going on. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Why is it on a mountain? What do you mean, why? Because that's where that's where Mike is hanging out. Should try to do a knife only? Juan, well, I'm struggling with a gun all everything, let alone a knife only. Whoop. Yep. Move! Oh my god. Okay. I just gotta take it slower. This is my problem. It is cooler to be up on a mountain. But it's also because, you know, that's where the game began. The game, the, the, the prologue, the very first uh, game, took place up in the mountains. We came down from there. We were chasing after the Adriscals, you know, in pursuit of revenge for an old blood feud. And now, here we are again, top of the mountain, seeking revenge. Nothing ever changes, you know. Oh, where are you guys coming from, man? Where? Where? Who sh- you? I was like, who the hell is shooting at me? I can't be serious for a moment? What? I just was serious. I gave you a good answer. No! God, no. No! Okay. Uh, I should have, I probably should have used this at the very beginning. The, the, ton oh right, I forgot to use the tonic that let, no! Where is, who even shot me? Dude, this is, this is great. It's a cover-based shooter where the final mission is, you have no cover. I should probably just use this from the beginning, the dead eye tonic. The snake oil. And just like. Uh, oh, it's a full restore. Okay, I see. So yeah, I should just be spamming that in order to permanently bats everything. Hello. There we go. First ish. What's up, bud? Congratulations on being first ish. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Oops. Bro. Hello. Okay. So right, the idea is I'm just going to abuse the snake oil tonic. In order to Hello. Why is why 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 is my What the fuck? Why is my aim like that? Why is my aim all over the place? What the hell? Please. Dude. Oh my god, why is it doing that? Uh, that's not ideal. Very not ideal. What is this, some kind of a brungo? What is this, a brungo episode? It really is, but... Uh, ah, dude, why is my aim like that? Why am I like, why am I not steady anymore? Did I drink something that makes me not steady? Because it makes it like impossible to aim. Or is that is that what happens when you deplete your bar? Like your, you know. Your thingamajiggy bar. Okay, I just gotta crack open a cigarette real quick. Yo, Iron Hog, welcome. What's up? How are you doing? Unless you black out when you complete a bar. Oh yeah, true. Oh! You remember correctly, me and my cloaked friend walk. Oh. What? There you go. Into the cleft in the rock towards the beam of light, releasing your spirits, you need a flyby over the desert graves at the start of the game. Uh I think that's a different game, Drone. I don't I don't remember any spirit actions. Although I could be risk remembering. You could be correct. I would not put it past myself to misremember that. Although it sounds important. It sounds like something I would remember. 
Also, hey Volgare, how are you doing? That cat is sitting very comfortably around a campfire. Dragon Bolt Z. That was a good post, wasn't it? I like that post. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I'm so bad. I can't even shoot him with bats. I'm on PBS. I am not. I don't think this is uh, family friendly enough for PBS. To be honest. Something about the wanton mayhem and constant headshots and the mowing through waves and waves of men and all the, you know, illegal activity. It doesn't quite seem PBS friendly. Funny as far as knowing someone said it out loud, realized it, and made the post. Yeah, it was a good post, to be fair. Okay. PBS. Honestly, the P is such BS. Dude. Okay. Snake oil. Give me my snake oil. Okay, I drank my snake oil. Dude, but the problem is... When you drink your snake oil, you you get all like unsteady like this. At least I think that's the cause of it. Children would be better off if they learned to use bats. That's true. Bats is a very important skill. Oh my god! I'm so no no no! Why am I looting? It's the end of the game. Dude. Dude. There we go. Can I save? Uh, no. You can't save mid-mission. Instead, like, missions auto-save. Okay, now I have cover, though. So now the game actually works. Remember when Sadie said Micah was holed up with between 10 and 20 men? I feel like I've killed more than 10 to 20 men already. Just a feeling. Oh. No. Oh, what? Good. I think I'm cold. It's shivering. I think he's shivering because of the adrenaline rushing through his veins over, you know, killing all these people. I think that's what's causing the adrenaline, in my estimation. What? Oh. Hello, sir. What are you doing here? Why are you alive? Why are you... There we go. Not ideal. Who would camp here? It looks kind of nice, doesn't it? I think it looks like a decent camping spot. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Do I have any, like... No. I have some chewing tobacco. I bet Brunga wouldn't hesitate to kill a man. I mean, how many men have I killed in the last half an hour alone? Flammable. Clearly, I do not balk at such ideas. Am I supposed to go over here? Or am I supposed to go further up? I think I'm supposed to go further up. Cold and low oxygen. Yeah, but look how pretty it is. You know, it's about the aesthetics of the area. It's not about the imminent danger to your life. It's not about the high probability that you've ruined your marriage and gotten all of your friends killed for no dis- I went the wrong way, by the way. For no discernible reason. That's not what it's about. Oh, okay, hold on. I have the high ground now. Good. Mike, are you here? I love him just constantly shouting the entire time this has been going on. Runga would be like, what? The gun just shot on its own. My finger isn't even on the trigger. <laughs> hey, Smeepit. Yes, this would be my defense in court if I was ever convicted of shooting anybody. It's very true. Sean! How did you know? Don't, don't tell anybody, Smeebit, because that's a foolproof defense. It's going to get me out of any situation. No matter what the crime is I'm accused of, I'm just going to say that I pr didn't press the button. 
I pressed the safety. Look, I pressed the safety. I did. Okay, here it is. The reckoning. Hello, Scarface. Scarface. Where the fuck did he come from? First of all, wrong game. Second of all, a few years. Oh, he got kind of gray. Micah got gray. He also like teleported behind me when I wasn't looking. Ooh, she's good. Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you, but I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Ooh. And the boy. Jesus Christ, this guy is so fucking evil. I mean, at this point, I have to kill him. Whoa, what the? He's a terrible shot, though. He is a god awful shot. Oh shit! Okay, he's better than the, at me at the game. Okay, can I get my actual gun out, first of all? Second of all, can you actually- No, go behind cover, please! Please do the cover mechan- Okay, the cover mechanic broke. <laughs> Great, awesome, good. Knife only, ah yes, let me knife- Use cover! Okay, thank you. Oh. You do. Okay. Dude. Okay. I swear none of the mechanics are working like they normally do. Oh, what the hell? She's alive? Come on now, Micah. At least tell like a man. Hell fire. It's just like old times. Oh, just shoot him. Just shoot him, please. Why is she waiting for her? I have no idea what she's waiting for. What? Why? You got me. How is she not forcing him to drop his guns? Drop your damn guns. He's not even dropping them. He's just uh, saddling, uh, holstering them. Social calls. <laughs> social calls. Ooh. Ooh. Mrs. Adler. It's been quite a while. What the? Oh, God. Now, John. Mexican standoff. I feel like I'm at a disadvantage at this standoff. What are you saying? Dutch. What are you doing here, Dutch? Yeah, what are you doing here, Dutch? I suppose. Dutch and I are. Teaming up once more. We got money. We got dreams. Mm -hmm. Join us, John. Join, join us. us. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be joining anybody. I can't do that, John. I got, I got a farm. They got cows on there. It's kind of lit. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. Yeah, it's a Colorado standoff. That's right. You shot at me, son. What? You started it. You started. You betrayed me. What? What did Micah do? Micah is literally a rat. What do you mean? What? But you're still on his side. You. You just cared for yourself. What? I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Join us. And together, we can be more powerful than anybody before. Uh, Arthur saved me. There we go. Arthur saved my life. More than one. One bullet, two heads, for real. Why doesn't he do the weird slow time thing? It's because these guys are main characters. They also have the slow time thing. Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Yeah. Dutch. Killing me. Won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, master. Uh, no, I refuse. Say something, Dutch. Say something. Say something. I ain't got too much to say no more. <laughs> he doesn't have much to say no more. Oh. <laughs> ah. Well, that makes sense. Redeemed? Oh, that's who got redeemed. 
That's who the redemption is for. Oh. What? Please, please, please. How many bullets does it take to kill this guy? Jesus. <laughs> How is he still walking? He doesn't have a brain. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Shoot Dutch anyway. I think Dutch has lost enough. Dutch seems to have made his own little life in the mountains. Okay. It's a sadder life than the one that I did, but in a way, Dutch so. got his freedom too, you know? Dutch kind of made it out. Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. Black water. I'll go see. Oh, we're just, yeah. Wait, we're just robbing Dutch the now? I go to. After Dutch, like, saved our lives? There's no way Sadie and Charles live out of this. Really? Oh. That is... The money is real. Huh. This isn't Tahiti. No. If, if Dutch had all that money, what the hell is he doing living up here? I guess he must have just liberated it with Micah or something. Did Dutch just, like, go to the bathroom? Is he just in that outhouse? Did Dutch just walk away? And then we robbed him? He jumped? I didn't see him jump. Dutch does seem to have given up, yes, it's true. He's a mountain man now. He has no need for money. I guess that's the whole point, is that after the whole game of, like, constantly thinking, you know, we need one more... We just need one more big uh, play. We just need some money, and then we can make it to Tahiti or whatever. He realizes he doesn't have any need for the money anymore. He's like, who would he go to Tahiti with, you know? He lost his gang. There's no point to it anymore for him. I'm going to where the sun burns in the heat stays. Oh, wow. We're really getting a happy end? Like a full happy end? Basically. How is she not dead? I guess she's made of really tough stuff. Yeah. It's, it's a punctured lung. I think she got shot in like the side, but still. I mean, she was bleeding out of the spleen. Or like liver or something for a while. Damn. What's the next game? Uh, I'll decide on the fly tomorrow, but it'll probably be Manifold Garden. Interesting. Okay, well. She got stabbed, didn't she? No, the other guy got stabbed. No, the other guy got... Sh oh, she got stabbed. You're right, sorry. She got stabbed. Charles got shot. Enjoy. Thank you, Avery. I hope I will. I'm supposed to get my thoughts on the game during the credits, but I guess the story is still kind of going on in the background, you know? There's the marriage. I don't know, it, obviously, it is a good game. It's very... It's just one of the best... In terms of, like, the dialogue and the writing, it's one of the best games that I've ever played. And specifically what's so great about it is that it sounds very naturalistic, you know what I mean? Like, they, they actually write the people and make the people sound like people. You were expecting a more drunk reverend? The reverend was pretty drunk, to be fair. But he got clean by the end, Ronan. The reverend got, the reverend got clean and he uh, left. He, he got out. Is it a good movie? It was a good movie, yeah. Right here. Manifold Garden won't take me any time at all, you think? Oh, that's nice. Didn't realize I was a naturalist. You know, I have my moments. Best show since Breaking Bad. It was, it was a good show. I mean, you know, thematically it's all about pursuing freedom and what it means to be free and the things that, like, stop us from being free. And I think a lot of the idea is that most of the time what like holds us or like stops us from being free is our own sense of obligations and our own unwillingness to just let go of something because like that's kind of every chapter of the game right of 
the everyone's talking about you know we have to do all this crime and make all this money in order to buy the tickets in order to get out of the place but like everybody who actually gets out of the gang and lives a happy life just walks away you know like the reverend just walks away john manages to walk away with the help of arthur um even dutch at one point once he's lost everything else just leaves and so what's really keeping them there isn't like a lack of money it isn't like the law it's their own sense of I guess loyalty or obligation or wanting to pursue their like utopian fantasy perfect life in Tahiti or whatever it is but if you're just like willing to let that go and just walk away <laughs> like the to share zone just walk out meme then uh that's kind of where freedom lies you know and like all the side quests are in that same theme too because you got like eagle flies and rainfalls with where what is keeping eagle flies down what ends up costing him his life is his unwillingness to let go of honor of his desire for revenge whatnot yo it's a pinkerton showing up as opposed to eagle flies who's willing to let go of his i of i guess his self-respect you know of his pride in order to endure in order to live or you know the the blood feud between the southern houses or whatever where you know the only thing that's causing all the mayhem that's causing all the death is their just unwillingness to let go of the feud and then you compare the kids the the romeo and juliet right Bo and penelope they just leave at some point they decide you know enough is enough we're, we're gonna break this cycle and we're just gonna get out of there so i think it's well done the way that they did that and presented it kind of constantly and they stay consistent with that messaging through a very long tv show length game why not start the next game in the same stream? Do I like have an ending spree? Yeah, pretty much one. I used to do that way back when. I just went right into the next game once I finished one, but I like to have time to process it, you know? Especially a game like this, it was really long. I kind of want some time to process it. Who was the Blue Dead Redemption? No. Um, I mean, I'm not blue, and I'm not dead, and I have no need to redeem myself, so it can't be me. And Arthur, too, right? He tells Mary that he can't just leave. Mary offers him, gives him the chance, and says, Arthur, just run away with me. Just like, you know, let's go get married. And Arthur tells her, no, I can't do it. Like, but the whole point is that he can, and it kind of costs him a lot. I think he only realizes that after he gets TV, that he had the opportunity the whole time to just leave. Next game for after credits roll when I finish Baba. <laughs> I don't think I'm finishing Baba today either, Flammable, but I am close. Baba music? Hold your horses a bit, Carolyn. The credits are still going. I still have to judge this game on um, when I do. You mean what's going to replace Baba after Baba's done? I haven't decided yet. Tell me if you already played this album. I'm not clicking on it yet, Carolyn. In terms of gameplay, I have to say, I still am not, like, I don't really care about big triple A open world RPGs in terms of the mechanics of it, you know? But. If I compare this to my other point of reference, which is Witcher 3, it is better because, right, I said this before, Witcher 3 is like 60% dialogue, 30% riding your horse, 10% combat, and all three of those things suck. In this game, they want, they combine a lot of the dialogue with riding the horse. They like merge the two together. There's a lot of like horse dialogue, which, uh, makes it feel a little bit snappier. The combat is not any more in depth than The Witcher, for sure. I mean, it's very simplistic. There's no depth to it. But it's kind of flashy. It feels cool when you get the kill cam, um, which is more exciting, I think. And the dialogue, as I already said, is a lot million times better. And you don't have, like, so many options. The problem with, like, the old traditional RPG dialogue wheel is that you're just sitting there for, like, 
hours clicking options, asking questions to get NPCs who you don't care about and have no connection to to say more things that don't really matter. Here you actually, in this game, you don't actually have very many dialogue options. And when you do actually, when you're actually given a choice, you actually get the opportunity to make a dialogue choice. It's usually pretty impactful. It feels like it's actually like worth something, you know. I feel more like a badass. I, I do, it's true. We should have a party at the end of the puzzle game, a Baba Fete. I don't think I get that one, Tron. I don't think I know what kind of party that is. Yeah. Overall, I think I could comfortably put this game in A tier for me if I were to, you know, go by the tier list ranking, because it's basically like a perfect game within a genre that I don't like. You know what I mean? It was a high B. I might lower it to a high B. I feel like it's one of those things where I'm going to appreciate more the further I get away from it, because, you know, the further you get away from a game, the less you remember the, like, stupid controls and the, like, nothing content, and you remember more, like, the story and the high points, and it's kind of neat. Gwarma is still weird. I still feel like Gwarma is, like, an odd addition into this game. I don't totally get how it fits in to much of anything. What's going on in the background here? The Pinkertons, are they like following leads or something? I haven't really been figuring it out. I'm pretty sure the background is just like the setup to the first game. I think it's the Pinkertons investigating and, um, tr and tracking down John Martian. Wasn't here for most of it, but you're probably right. You're probably right, Flammable. What happened to Brungors? I assume Brungors got set free when Arthur died, you know? Brungors was Arthur's horse, and so... Uh, I don't... Oh, wait, no, Brungors died! I remember! Oh, no, right, Drone, and no, 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 they killed Brungors right before Arthur went down. They kill your horse in that sequence. Yeah, 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 no, Brungors got shot. A noble death. Will be missed. Brungors, too, is in heaven. All horses go to heaven. Last you saw, I sailed away from the horse and never gave it a second thought. No... The horse got killed. It got shot in the dome. It was a dead-ass horse. It really was. So many fucking people worked on this game. <laughs> Is anyone noticing how long these credits are? Literal movie credits. I don't know. I think that surmises my immediate thoughts. I still like the name. Ever since I made that name, rec that like revelation yesterday about Arthur Morgan's name, my mind is still blown from that. It's not even that smart. It's not even that cool, but it, I don't know. I like it. Mm. What's with the name? It's, it's, it's Arthurian, right? The, they, John Marston specifically says, like, oh, I like those names from Arthurian, from, like, King Arthur, the Knights of the Round Table, when, like, his son is talking about reading them. And so Arthur Morgan is King Arthur plus Morgan Le Fay, because Arthur Morgan's caught between being the hero and the villain of the story. He's like, you know, what? Okay, so Flannel, there's this little indie story that you might not have heard of called King Arthur, Knights of the Round Table. It's it's like a couple it's a couple hundred years old, so it makes sense that you've never heard of it before. But the the good guy in there is called King Arthur, and the bad person is named Morgan Le Fay. And so that so Arthur Morgan is like you know halfway between hero and villain or whatever. Never read it. Nobody on the planet has read it either. So true, final. Nobody's ever heard of King Arthur before. It's a really obscure reference. Was there anyone in the game named Slim? Not that I remember. Was there a Slim in the Arthurian fate of, like, legends? That doesn't sound like a very old English name. Sounds interesting. Is it by Netflix? 
Yeah, it's one of Netflix's older shows. I think they uh, they publish it in like 500 AD or something like that. Yo, is that Bill? He's got a little shop. That is Bill. He's got a little butcher shop. Good for you. Time to redeem Red Dead Redemption 1. I feel like Red Dead Redemption 1 doesn't quite get nearly as much praise, right? I mean, I think it's still supposed to be a good game, but I think I would be let down by it if I were to play it. Because I think it's a lot more just running around shooting people and the story's not quite as interesting. A butcher named Bill, so original. Is that unoriginal? Is, is that a stereotypical butcher's name? I don't know. It's like referencing the Quran to some random guy on the street. There's like a 1% chance they have any idea what you're talking about. I'm pretty sure if you like say the name Muhammad, I think that random guy on the street will understand that that is related to the Quran in some respect, right? If I say the name King Arthur, Arthur, 99% of people have heard of King Arthur before, even if they have never read his story or, or don't know what that is. It's actually arguably probably one of the most recognizable stories in the English language. <laughs> so this is a weird, it's a weird hill to tie on, Flammable. Your butcher's name, Bill? You have a butcher, bud? Nobody knows who Morgan Le Fay is. That's probably slightly less than King Arthur, but I would still say one out of every two people who has heard of King Arthur will have heard of Morgan Le Fay, I'll say. You've seen the Monty Python adaptation? Yeah, that one actually, there was no Morgan Le Fay in that, was there, in Holy Grail? I'm pretty sure Holy Grail didn't have a Morgan Le Fay. Am I trying to say Brian Le... Le... Fall? No, Le Favre. No, because I can't say that name. Remember RDR1 getting a ton of praise? It's pretty much the RDR2 of its time. Okay, that's fair. I guess it's more, I don't know. I would feel like, I'm already like, you know, I am putting up with the game for the story in RDR2. So I would be hesitant to expect that same level of, you know, enjoyment from RDR1 because I think it would be really hard to replicate that. Lefav. Lefev. Lefave. Laforge. Jordy Laforge. Let's go with that. Hmm. Laforskin. There you go, Carolyn. Well. Sadie's going home. I have not been paying a whole lot of attention to the story that's been going on in the credits in the background here. I can't believe Sadie and Charles lived through that. I'm honestly, I'm kind of oh, 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 oh. Hello. <laughs> um, I'm still live, right? I am still live, right? the The game just the game just crashed. <laughs> It didn't like it didn't like pop up with the normal out with a bang. No, I'm live. Okay, good. But don't don't rip stream me, Carolyn. Um, okay, the game crashed. I guess it just shut down. It did, that's really weird. It didn't even like do the error message. It didn't freeze like it did before. It just closed. All right, I guess we're playing Baba. Um, 